Bro. The Colonel. Let's go. CD into Linux. Okay. Um, to make sure there's no old stale source trees hanging around, go ahead and make MR proper. Okay. What it does is clean out your old. If you screw up, uh, when you make this, it says that you make like a default config or dot config. Okay. And um, that's all the um, whatever the uh, whatever you ticked on the kernel, it's in there. Okay. Um, make it more proper. So that cleans that out for one. It does some other stuff like that. Um, prepare for compilation by the fuck, man. Uh, there's other stuff that that does. But, um, you know, cleans that out. And ensures that the kernel tree is absolutely clean. The kernel team recommends that this command be issued prior to each kernel compilation. Do not rely on the source tree being clean after untorrent. That's why we do that more problem. Alright, so now I got a good big screen on this because I get complaints about they were control A bracket. Let's close down the window. Good thing I didn't close it. Damn, I'm telling you. Control A, control C. Control A, Control C. Okay. Closed out my window, but I screwed up. And closed off my documentation. Desktop Linux. No, that's not it. Let me say links. My Facebook. Alright, let's go over down to the kernel. I need to get a full-sized or something close to a full-sized terminal here. So I get complaints about I get complaints about it while I'm trying to um, make mini config. Alright, so here um, make it more proper. Okay, it says be sure to figure be sure to configure the following features as shown. Alright, well first let me go ahead and say make make menu config. It's going to generate a in curses menu for us to look through, and when we exit this, it's going to generate a dot config file. The dot can, dot config file is hidden, all right, but that saves everything that we tick on or turn off. Okay, so first it says here that we have to check in device drivers, generic device driver, generic driver options. Let's see, we've got device drivers right here. Generic device, generic, generic driver options, bang. And we need to make sure that we have support for you, div helper, turned off. This is new. Maintain a dev temp fs file system at boot. Okay. It's, it's off in the book. I'm going to do that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Put this in brackets here. And obviously there's no brackets here. But there is brackets in your config file in your boot directory. Okay, in that config. And that config is actually this dot config here is just a temporary. This gets compiled. And um, you get the config file, which is that file, not the hidden one. Okay, this, so this generates a temporary, which gets compiled. After compile time, you get a config file, which you have to move. And if you look in your config file, you'll see syntax like this. You know, if it's checked on, equals yes, equals module, equals no. I wonder if they put that there so you can... Alright, let me shut up. I wanted to put that there for that reason. Maintain a dev tempfs file system. No. Yes, that's all. Okay, I'm gonna say exit. You can go ahead and driver search all you want. If you have a 
I don't really care that much about networking. I just want to get this up. I can compile my kernel later. Okay? I just want default, whatever. And this is going to... Yes, I do want to save it. Um, anytime you pop open a kernel like this, it's going to utilize or see what you got mounted as far as modules mounted, whatever, and try to um, pick them up and run a menu config. Okay. Um, in the event that that happens, some of those will be loaded, some of them will not be loaded. Uh, Ethernet drivers uh, will probably be loaded. Your Wyland drivers probably will not be loaded. Stuff like that, okay. But like I said, I just want to get this out of the way. And as long as my system boots, I can configure my kernel later. So I'm just going to worry about that for right now. Now, this here is to generate a uh, menu config in a different type of way, I guess. I've never ran this before. I always did make and um, or make menu config. Okay, so that's what we did. To compile the, cr to compile the kernel on image and modules, right? And we say make. And we say make modules install. After that gets done, we'll copy uh, copy this stuff back over. After it's done, so we have to get we have to copy over what it installed to where it's got to go. Okay, but that's getting ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's say clear. Control A, shift split, or S. Control A, Control C, creates a new session. Exit that. I get my book back. Okay, and let's say make, I'm going to string these together, make and make modules underscore install, I think this is correct. Go. Alright, so we're going to make our kernel now, uh, this should take a couple of minutes, so I'll cut the video here and we'll come back and keep going.